Why are so many teams moving their project management over to Motion? What is it doing that's different from all the other tools on the market? And will it actually help you get more work done? Today, we're going to cover Motion's three core features that set it apart from every other project management software and why this tool can be game-changing for your team's efficiency. I mean, we used Asana for seven years, and while it kept us organized enough, it was a chore to manage projects with changing deadlines, and we could never stay on top of which tasks were most important. But Motion fixed that overnight. So this is my Motion account. You'll notice a couple things. First, we have my events, meetings, and appointments, like with any calendar. Then all of these things around my events are my tasks. Tasks in Motion can be standalone or part of a bigger project. But regardless, all of my Motion tasks are managed right on my calendar. So why does this matter? Currently, project management tools operate separately from your calendar. So you have your meetings and appointments in your calendar and then your projects and tasks in a second tool and they don't talk to each other. So if you have five hours of meetings in your day, but your project management tool says you have seven hours of tasks to hit your deadline, how are you supposed to get all of that done? You can't, so you fall behind. And if you multiply that by the many people in your team taking into account holidays and out of office days and unexpected emergencies, it can get really hard to predict how long it will take to get things done. So that's the first core feature that makes Motion different. It actually has a calendar built in at the core and it takes into account your entire schedule along with your work. No other tool does this. Before we go any further, just wanted to give you a heads up that we have a full Motion course that you can get with a massive discount if you use our affiliate link to sign up or that you can purchase if you're already a Motion user. Just stay to the end of the video to find out all the details. But the best part about Motion's calendar is that it's smart. It actually plans your day for you like an assistant would, which really helps reduce the stress of managing projects in the day to day. For example, watch what happens if I add a single task to script this video into Motion and tell it that it will take me eight hours to do and it's due by the end of the week and I wanna work on it in two hour chunks. Motion's AI will automatically rearrange my schedule for me to fit the task. Okay, now watch what happens if I have an all-day event that randomly comes up. Just like that, Motion rearranged my day for me again. And this works not just with individual tasks, but projects too. Let me show you how easy it is to auto-schedule an entire project for my team in less than one minute. First, I select my video project template that I created earlier. But hold that thought because I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create this in a bit. I'll title my video and then you'll see this screen with my project stages. Now, stages are major milestones that my video needs to reach from scripting to filming to editing to distributing, aka making it here on YouTube. Now, let's set a start date for the project and watch what happens to these stage deadlines. Motion automatically knew when to set the deadlines for each stage and is telling me already when I can expect the video will be completed. With that, you'll find that once you start using Motion, you're actually going to get a lot more realistic when it comes to your project deadlines because Motion keeps you accountable. Okay, so now I'm going to finish going through my prompts and my project is set up. So what do you see here? All the project stages along with their deadlines and each task under each stage is neatly organized. This date here indicates when the task is auto-scheduled on each team member's calendar. And see these red tasks? Motion is already warning me that all the way into the future, it's seeing a problem with being able to fit these tasks in our team's calendar with all the other projects that we have going on. This means I need to readjust my expectation and change the deadline for the stage and Motion will take care of all the replanning for each task for every single person on the team. And remember what I said earlier, if something comes up suddenly, like a team member having to take an emergency week off, Motion will alert the entire team that we are off track. Keep in mind that with other tools, humans need to be the ones keeping things on track, which means either you as the business owner are spending your valuable time literally just juggling people's tasks or you're paying somebody's salary to do that. So this is where Motion has completely changed the game for us with its auto scheduling capabilities. I'm gonna just hype this up a bit. You gotta hype it up. You gotta hype it up. Oh, that's not copyright. It is. 
And then there's the third way that motion is changing the game when it comes to project management, and it has to do with how easy it is to actually set up the tool. If you've set up other standard tools like Asana, Monday, or ClickUp, you'll know that onboarding and setup is quite cumbersome. And sometimes you even need to hire a consultant to set it up correctly. With Motion, there is less room for error because they give you a standardized way to manage your projects. And they do this with their workflow templates, what I used to set up my project earlier. So let's take you into the back end where I set up my template because I wanna show you how to set it up correctly. Okay, so here are all of our project templates within our growth workspace. If we click into the video template, you'll see that you are guided on how to set up your project as if you're like filling out a form. You don't have a zillion ways to configure your projects. There is one fundamentally correct way in Motion. There are five main components to Motion workflows. First, you have your general project details, which are just like the project name, details, and the main project manager. Then you have roles, which are all the types of hats that need to be worn in order to get the project done. And if you're a small team like us and you find yourself wearing many of them, that's okay. But you still want to write them all out in motion because setting up your projects this way will make it easier for you to delegate into the future. So right now I'm the script writer, the talent, the project manager, and it's me that's doing all of these roles. But one day it might not be. And when that time comes, it will be really easy to assign all the tasks associated with that role to someone else. Then you have text variables and you just want to think of them as placeholder text that just save you from typing the same thing over and over. We use them to consistently name our tasks and you can also use them in the task descriptions. And then you have stages, which we spoke about earlier, which are the main milestones that your project needs to hit. And finally, you have tasks. Under each stage, you have a group of tasks that need to be done together in order to hit that milestone. So a few tips here. With tasks, you want to create one every time there is a handover from one person to another. For example, for our script writing stage, myself and George pass the script back and forth at least three times, and this is mapped out in our process. Now, we've had small teams of two people or so say, we both do everything, but if you take a closer look, you'll see that both of you do have clearly defined roles. Someone may start a part of the task while the other person may finish it, or they might come in halfway through. So you want to break down your processes bit by bit. Okay, now get this. You can also add events as a part of your process. For example, for us, when we film a video, it's a full day event and we build that right into our project template. Just say what you would say to me. My name is Alfredo and I want some of that sauce. (laughs) (laughs) Or say you're a creative agency and you know that you have client check-ins at certain parts of your process. You can literally just schedule that in. The truth of the matter is that there is so much more we want to teach you about Motion, which is why we released a one-hour crash course walking you through how to set up your account step-by-step. It's made for busy individuals and teams who want to set up Motion quickly. A lot of feedback that we got was that people didn't want to spend all day or all week setting up their project management tool, which is why we made the course one hour. It's to the point. We show you inside our Motion account so you can see exactly how we're using it. And the best part is, if you have not signed up for Motion yet, then make sure to use our affiliate link down in the description because that will get you $100 off the course, which you can use now or later. Now that you have the most cutting edge project management software, what about the email software that will allow you to get through your inbox four times faster? Check out this video where we'll show you what it is and why we can't live without it.